And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Foundation. Alright, we have a pretty good city going right now. I've had to go through all of my forgers, you know, when, when people were leaving due to unhappiness. Yeah, a lot of my foragers started clearing out, which is one of the reasons why my berries are doing so bad. Um, our happiness is picking up a little bit. Bread seems to be just unable to keep up whatsoever. Um, so I did a, a purchase of bread. I want, I want to buy all your bread. Why didn't you sell me all your bread? But anyway, yeah, I, I, I think we're going to need to supplement bread. One of the issues with, with games like this, as I've stated before, is the travel time between A to B. You know, games like this try to make things so, you know, the worker has to be at a spot to do the work and all that kind of stuff, but... In the grand scheme of things, because it's not being simulated in real time, that is a problem. Wow. There's 50, there's 50 bread in there. And we're only showing you 20. That's, that's how much bread is reserved. Wow. Wow. Uh, one thing I'm doing is I'm clearing the trees over here, or at least, you know, slowly doing that. I want to turn like this valley. I want this to be farm. I want this to be windmills, and I want some more. I want some more things over here. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind another little city or a little neighborhood around here. Um, I, I'm thinking I'm going to need it most likely up in this area up here. But yeah, slowly eating away all these trees that are down here. Uh, for reasons. Uh, let's build another forager. Fo forager. Or is it gathering hut? Yeah. It's gathering hut. Let's get one right there. Hmm. How about right over here too? Because you can put a lot of a lot of gatherers on these berry bushes. So there's no point in wasting this nice little double berry bush that we have here. Uh, so yeah, due to travel time and the size of our village now, it, it it's kind of laggy a little bit. You know, I just bought like 50 bread, almost 50 bread, and I'm still lacking in food. It's, I think it's all because of berries. Yeah, I see berries. And my shirts have not recovered. Because these guys, again, walk all the way across town, pick up something, drop it off, make one thing, and then leave. Or they just pick it up, drop it off, and leave. Like, there's... We've got housing right here. I, I would like these guys living here to be working here that would be so fantastic if they could do that oh auto save uh, all right my my heart stopped a little bit there i thought the game was gonna do bad things to me so you know all these unemployed people we need we need something for them to do to contribute to the world here He bought all of all that. Okay, good. Hey, can we finish building this? Pretty please? Waiting for builder? Really? How many builders do I have? 
How many builders do I have? Um, and I'm I apologize for the UI. Um, I had I had to set the UI back to just no no scaling, so it's just one one dot L. Um, it yeah I couldn't I couldn't read a lot of things one two three four five six seven and yeah, we have eight we have eight builders I think that's enough people are mostly happy what are you I see I see a very unhappy person here you are a follow <coughs> So why are you so unhappy? Due to food. Because he has to cross the entire city in order to get some food. Okay, gathering hut is complete. There we go. All right, that should, quote unquote, should help tremendously with the berry situation. Because market tenders, you know, I I am just not going to bother. Um, the market tenders here, they can grab stuff out of, uh, directly out of the gatherer's huts. You don't need to deliver it. In fact, I might want to just turn this off. Let's turn this into... Uh, yeah, more shirt storage. I'm hoping, hoping, that this setup over here... Like, there's 12 shirts right there. There's no reason why they can't come and grab those 12 shirts. There's six in there. There's two shirts in there. Yeah, this is going to slowly, slowly max out here. Yeah, I think right in here would be a good spot for a market. Maybe, yeah, right in here, and then I can have housing all the way around, and then have a bunch of windmills over here, have a bunch of farms down here. Like, I want to just start overproducing stuff. One of the other notes I should make, we, we are going to need another church. So I'm thinking, like right down in here, maybe? Because we don't have enough church capacity for all of our villagers. We have 90 in here and 46 up here. So that's 100 and, what, 136? And we have 160 people. So, yeah, the, the, the church thing is going to need to be redone uh, so if we we could also do a church like back here I mean this neighborhood is not doing too bad these guys are kind of close to this one so yeah maybe back here we could do another church uh, and I'm thinking doing a rustic church because a regular, I mean, those things take so long to build, the regular church. And they're not cheap. By any stretch. So, rustic church. Uh, let's make sure. We have all of the unlocks. Coming soon, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, we have all the unlocks there. This one's coming soon. Yeah, we don't have enough splendor for a kingdom yet. 
I might need another manor house for that. I've got one here. Why, why, why do I keep losing my bailiff? Keep losing my bailiff. Why is that? I need that. I need that extra, that little extra income, you know? A little bit of a boost. Uh, and there's that, there's this one here, tax office. So yeah, I think we're going to also have another manor house or Lord manor house, whatever. Another one of these, but first let's get, let's get the church going. This church had surprisingly few attendance I mean granted it's not as robust as this one but I, I expected more from that church so let's do rustic church core This doesn't increase capacity at all. I wish you could get creative with how you snap these things. Okay. I really want there to be a lot of capacity on this. Capacity five. Hmm. Stone extension, there we go. Now we're talking. wonder how can we turn off part snapping get to get a nice graceful line there Now let's see what happens when we turn snapping back on. There we go. Oh, I'm on mouse button. Oh, I guess it's not gonna, not gonna let me. So let's do, turn this off. Get this right in. there turn it back on no 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 not that something like that Make sure that roof line is covered. Okay. Looks pretty rustic so far. Uh, what do these give me? They don't really give me anything
Oh my goodness. How about that one? Oh, rotate slowly. Tower. Oh my goodness. Okay, now why are those offset? Oh no, maybe they're not offset. Okay, good. <clears throat> okay, so how about... Let's uh, unsnap that. Let's rotate it a little bit like that. Trying to make it look semi-pretty. And little grave. And a wooden cross. Oh, rotate that slowly. Why is it not? Why is it not snapping to that? Huh. Weird. Oh, because snap is off. Well, that's a derp. Okay. Let's try to do... I mean, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but... Hundred and eighty capacity. That's pretty darn good. Let's do door B. What does door B look like? Okay, apparently we can't do door B. Okay, apparently we can't do that one either. How about a, a side entrance? Sure, we can do a side entrance. Why not? All right, that is a lot of things and stuff. Uh, do we want like a tower? I mean, this is going to be almost 50 gold maintenance. Oh, at 180 capacity. I like that. Upfront cost none. Okay. So, yeah, let's do... One of these here. This is... No, I want the wooden one. There. 
Just like that. These are there. Much better. There, a little bit a little bit nice. Uh let's uh let's start it. That is a lot of that is a lot of uh construction right there. A lot of resources gonna go into that. And a lot of different buildings, which means all of our all of our builders should contribute to that process quite quite effectively. Let me uh, push this down. So how are we doing on foraging? Those those poor berry bushes are probably exhausted. I could spruce that up a little bit. I mean, our berries are doing pretty good. Our 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 bread is doing good merely because I've been buying it. And every every fifty that it's that I'm buying, I mean, that's five hundred gold. But I'm then turning around and selling it for twelve. 12 or 13. Yeah, 12. 4 for 48. Does that mean my bail my uh bailiff is gone? Oh no, he's he's still there. So that that will like over double the capacity for yeah that'll over double the capacity for faith that i have so look at all those goods that are coming in all right well that's going to do it for this episode and i thank you for watching and i will see you next time